Thank you, Professor Suvik. And uh, uh, I will definitely try to stay within four or five minutes. Uh, <clears throat> three questions. What are the driving factors for the industry academia partnership and how did your in institution evolve, evolve in this AI model with some specific examples? And the third thing about the short-term faculty. Um, I stand before you not just as a vice chancellor, but also as a director of uh, three Section 8 companies. Therefore, this is a different model. Uh, having, I think by the year end, we will have five to six Section 8 companies uh, launched. Uh, therefore, we do sense the uh, academia as well as the industry rhythm. Uh, we have uh, particularly addressed SDG model 7 and 9 and how industries can coexist in uh, the academic landscape. Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, what are the driving factors for this AI interaction. Number one, um, so far, we had uh, at least a dozen of uh, industries funding us with CSR funds. But now I see a trend that all these CSR funds are now switched over to research projects. Let me just put uh, in perspective, British Petroleum recently awarded $400,000 plus. Uh, usually they give us a CSR fund, but now they said this is going to be research projects. And uh, NTPC last year uh, launched a joint PhD program with us. Midani is, uh, as you all know, 30,000 uh, uh, crore uh, turnover company uh, which supplies titanium for all the avionics. Uh, they put up a defense expo in uh, Gujarat recently. And it was very surprising that of all the 20 exhibits that they portrayed, one exclusive was on PDEU. And they were talking about how PDEU is trying to jointly join in this uh, manufacturing capabilities, and especially in the 3D manufacturing. Um, and uh, why industry is now coming to academia, I can quote Again, British Petroleum, Shell, Torrent, and Reliance, all of them have agreed to support Prime Minister's research scholarship. As you know, the, uh, the blessed institutions are the IITs and NITs who don't need to scavenge industry support, and they get this Prime Minister's scholarship outrightly. But for, in for private institutions, uh, the same government says that you have to bring 50% uh, funding from industries. So industry has found this as a good talent uh, 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 generation pool. And they are funding up to 40,000 per candidate. And in the last uh, three, four months, we have already uh, generated 10 prime minister scholarship, which without the industry's partnership cannot happen. And uh, we have uh, five projects funded by Shell India, and all are of tier level seven to nine. And we have capstone projects up to 350, uh, which without the uh, industry's engagement are, is not going to happen. So uh, these are the driving factors. Now, industry has understood that merely funding them on some extension activities have limited scope. Therefore, they are coming in a robust way to, uh, uh, to train the talents. Uh, and then I just wanted to tell about how uh, academia industry has evolved in joint partnership. I have Suzuki Motors uh, uh, HR here. Uh, but Maruti Suzuki came five years back to fund 100 crores to PDU, of which uh, uh, PDU and uh, Government of Gujarat are co-partners. Now, this is a very uh, unique model where we have let seven universities to become academic partners in our own premises, including GTU, GU, and uh, Kaushalya University, and many others. So far, in this uh, industry engagement, we have 
trained 1700 people in the last 18 months and uh, 17 skill development courses both on automotive manufacturing and automotive electronics this is a very grand arrangement where we have seen industry coming and almost its uh, production scale uh, facility that is launched PDU doesn't really take the ownership but it has facilitated almost seven uh, university logos to be printed in our landscape and that's the way it is going now just to switch gear and say um, uh, how uh, how government can also entice industry to come into academic landscape uh, government of Gujarat sanctioned 35 crores uh, to set up uh, solar PV manufacturing uh, plant and uh, it will be uh, inaugurated in the month of August we are ready to go 45 megawatt solar PV panel production line is up and ready where government funded this along with PDU we did a 50-50 investment into it for a 35 crore project but now we are asking industry to come as a OEM model and industries already it's in the uh, portal and uh, a couple of industries have already come for running this manufacturing skill set and uh, recently last two three months we have been up and active with the government of Gujarat to launch another manufacturing set uh, uh, facility of uh, 50 crore uh, worth uh, production facility uh, n not production sorry manufacturing skill set facility for silicon uh, photovoltaics uh, and uh, re we also have engagement with Suslon, Intech, Shell, India and all these have similar uh, uh, engagement with us uh, no I, I, I thought I will just share this as testimonies rather than telling about the challenges. So that speaks volume about uh, the AI model that is still robust and it's working. But what I'm saying is industry's readiness uh, to partner with us will amplify only if government is endorsing it. If there is no government uh, interlacing this uh, union or this interaction, it is of a little value and it will be sh uh, short term oriented therefore um, i am uh, i am a strong supporter of this a model but i have seen in the last uh, 5 years and during my stay in pdu <coughs> uh, that uh, a government's blessing has to be there and there are some cases where government can be proactive in funding where industry can come and take over the manufacturing skill set so I will conclude with just one statement. I mean, um, when we talk about uh, this, um, even I was talking to Mr. Bala, you know, uh, very serial uh, entrepreneurs and investors. Uh, there is a hesitation from the industry to invest into capital uh, cost. But that's where government has to come. I'm sitting in DST bodies as well, TDP, IDP, everything. but. There again, the problem is they don't give money for capital investment. So if investors from industry don't give, if the uh, funding agencies don't give, then they, we are a little bit paralyzed in this engagement. Therefore, somebody has to do. But if academia can take care of itself, it will be a grand arrangement. And uh, from PDU side, I would like to emphasize that the manufacturing skill set has to be nurtured in a more serious way then the industries will really come to you because they really want to see a basic infrastructure that will reflect their mindset and then industry is ready to come so with these few words let me close and since i am talking about four five section eight companies i don't have to send the, my faculty to industries industry is right in our backyard so this is my answer to it. thank you